Uh, coming to a clinical vignette, so this is a child who is uh, nine months old, and is a female child who has presented with complaints of uh, uh, a short history of uh, one month history of tremors. So this child, if you observe, it looks like so seizures, most commonly misdiagnosed and seizures, and many people start giving anticonvulsants. Can you guess what this condition is? An infant with uh, such movement disorder. So if you're thinking these are fine tremors and even coarse tremors as well. So this is a tremor disorder, so which is associated with megaloblastic anemia. This is, along with this, the child also had paler history of neuroregression and on the knuckles there was hyperpigmentation as well as some hair changes along with tremors. So can you guess what this condition is? This is infantile tremor syndrome. We'll discuss about infantile tremor syndrome a little bit about the history. This particular syndrome is uh, something indigenous to India. Uh, it's only seen in resource poor countries and specifically in India. It was first noticed by this doctor in Hyderabad called Dr. Dixit in 1950s. So he had uh, reported few case reports on case series on that, around 30 to 40 case series. And it has been uh, uh, associated with megaloblastic anemia, but it's a multifactorial etiology. So you must remember there could be a possible question on this. So this is also called as Indian infantile tremor syndrome or Indian megaloblastic uh, uh, anemia in infancy, etc. with that terms. So as I said, uh, there's all the features of megaloblastic anemia plus neurological manifestations like uh, neuroregression and tremors. And it is commonly observed in breastfed infants. So exclusively breastfed infants with mothers who are vegetarian. So there is probably uh, a vitamin B12 deficiency in the mother. So there is decreased transmission to the infant as well. So the infant ultimately ends up having vitamin B12 deficiency. So and especially seen in resource poor countries, as I said. So eventually people recover. Uh, so what do you think is the drug of choice in this disorder? Uh, no anticonvulsant is gonna do good in this disorder. So you have to start uh, the child in propanolol, that is beta blocker, to control the uh, tremors. And on the long term, uh, there is some uh, deficit. You have language deficits and cognitive decline. So it has a, a bad prognosis on the long term. So there has been multiple etiologies which have been the uh, hypothesized, especially magnesium, and iron along with B12. So B12 is almost there in every patient, but you have also malnutrition and magnesium deficiency and iron deficiency as well. So it's usually seen in infants, but the age group, the range is around 6 to 24 months. So that is about infantile tremor syndrome.